The entrance examination for admission into the Ghana School of Law has been a subject of a major debate in recent times. Students of the Ghana School of Law in March 2019 called on the Speaker of Parliament to form a commission of inquiry to probe the poor results of students who sat for the school's bar exams. In 2018, students of the school took a series of actions in protest of the bar examination results, which were also poor. Also, more than 80% of students who wrote the examination in May 2017 failed as only 91 out of the over 500 candidates passed. In October 2020, however, a total of 1,045 students out of the 2,763 passed the entrance examination. According to the Ghana School of Law, this year's results saw a 23% rise in the number of students who passed the exams compared to last year's 93% recorded failure. As part of efforts to address key challenges associated with legal education, the Chief Justice, Justice Enimia Boa, says the General Legal Council has for the first time introduced some major reforms. He says the Council will publish results of the joint monitoring exercise to address issues facing legal education in Ghana. Professional legal education has come a long way in Ghana. Over the last few years, the General Legal Council has been working closely with the National Accreditation Board to ensure that the various law faculties feeding students into the Ghana School of Law meet the required standards that will make this professional training more effective and produce lawyers worth their training. The General Legal Council will continue to work more closely with the National Accreditation Board to ensure the review and development of the curricula, method of instruction, and the admission procedures of all the approved universities running the LLB program. A former president of the Ghana Bar Association, Paul Edu Jemfi, reiterated the need for legal education to be made more accessible to improve the country's ratio of lawyers to the population. The rising demand for more lawyers brings into sharp focus the functions of great lawyers. It is conceded, ladies and gentlemen, however, that education in these five functions of a lawyer is a shared responsibility between the faculties of law, the law schools, and more importantly, the duty of the individual lawyer whilst at the law school and throughout his working life. We need to train more lawyers, and I urge you to discount the notion of a glut within the legal profession. We need the services of lawyers in all the district, metropolitan, and the regional assemblies of our 16 regions and at the national level. For in our society today, the men who make and carry out our governmental decisions, who shape our way of life, who determine our nation's destiny, are predominantly law-trained men who in the first instance were not trained to do so. The Kumasi campus of the Ghana School of Law has over the last 10 years produced over 500 legal practitioners in the country.